Hello? Yes? <laughs> Who is it? Hey! Hey, that's sexual harassment! You can't greet visitors when you're not wearing clothes! No, oh, I've got my underwear on! Oh gosh! Oh gee, is the Sanga sister, aren't you? That's right! I don't have no Dory Amegi! Amegi! <laughs> Wait, did I just say I'm Katori? I'm Hatoru Amegi! <laughs> You're Katori, is that right? Yes, I'm Hatori Hanabin! Nice to meet you again, Katori! Um, Katori, is that you? Yeah, yeah. Ajia, your sister is here! Ah! Oh, hey there, Hataro! Ajia brought Hataro into the dining hall where everyone was having breakfast. Ajia, I brought that change of clothes! Thanks! How about Mom? What did she say? That she's gonna kick your ass when you get back! Hmm. I can't do much about that, I guess. Hi, Hataro! I mean,. Hi, hi, Hattori. Morning, Aoi. You want some breakfast? No, it's okay. I ate at home before I came here. I'm sorry, Amani. Could you feed Hat? <coughs> Could you feed Hat? Sure, leave it to me. Come on, Hat. Hi. You're looking healthy. It must be because the food here is so delicious. Hi. It's been a few days since the dormitory became out camp. It's because our routine for everyone to get together to eat. It's been our routine for everyone to get together to eat breakfast. It's really lively, so it makes it feel more like a camp. Also, today we have a special need to have a good breakfast. Unlike usual, today's work could be a test of endurance. Oh shit. It's really sunny today. Looks like the temperature has gone up a notch. Say, Hattori, how was it out there? That weather is really nice! <laughs> oh, we'd better put on sunscreen! Oh yeah, if you're free today, Hattori, you can help us! Okay, if there's something I can do... There is! Anyone can do it, we just need an extra pair of hands! Are we going to pull the wings again? Well, today... <laughs> We're gonna we're going to make a runway! Make a runway Why can we use this runway that Amana used? Oh I guess This is the runway. Could use a bit of trimming if you ask me. We stood it on at the wide open, empty lot, overgrown with lush grass and complete bewilderment. Are we going to tidy this whole place up? Yes, we are. You told us to prepare ourselves, but actually seeing that this has become quite a scary prospect. We were on the verge of completing the main wing, so we were finally getting ready for the test flight. This was one of those things, the construction of a runway. In the grassy fields on the other side of the lake was a wide, flat area with no gradient. Money. Uh, when we heard the word runway, we all imagined we all imagined it to be paved paved as asphalt with asphalt, like in an airfield. And the grass really does grow quickly in the summer, doesn't it? Amongst them, over amongst them were overgrown weeds that would need cutting down. We're making a glider, we'd be making a runway too. We have to tidy this place up. That's why we call for some we call for some help. Oh screw this guy, get out of here. No one wants you. You wear a stupid pink shirt with a dumbass bloody vest. And what the hell what is that? What the hell does that say? Is that an S? I wear S necklace. Well I don't, but I want to. Get out of here, you bloody perv Poofter. There you go, you're a poofter. Why do I have to do something like this? We can tell her if you like. We can tell Eri Chan your embarrassing secret. That's a dirty trick. You really are the lowest of the low. 
Not the same way you go around running your mouth. I really should have kicked her ass for that. Ugh. She really is a dude on the inside, after all. Haji had persuaded Masetsuga to come with us. No one wanted him. Well, d this does look tough, but we've got to give it our best shot. What the hell was that? <laughs> I didn't even say that. We've got to give it our best shot. As a condition for preparing her meals through the summer holidays, Kaneko has come to help us too. Can, can we really do this? Unfortunately for her, Hatari, who had come to bring a change of clothes for her gear, was brought along too. <laughs> and then there was that. Ducks eat weeds, so we didn't need to force him. We just brought him out for a stroll. But this isn't. But isn't this private property? Yes, it is. I would appear. It would appear that the owner of this field is one of the old members of the Soaring Club. So this person is one of the old members of the Soaring Club, but from before Amani and the others revived it. Provided that we cut the grass on a regular basis, they will lend it to us for free. Wow. Well then, let's get started. If we spend too much time waffling, then the sun's gonna go down. The sun's gonna go down. At the command of Katori Han Habane, uh, second in charge of the club, we began cutting the grass. I would be drooling with sweat right now, bruh. Okay, it doesn't look any different. <laughs> Being in such sweltering heat makes it all the more difficult. Here, this is nothing to block the. Here, there is nothing to block the direct sunlight, and the wind blowing from the direction of the lake only slightly cools us down. It's so hot. The towel wrapped around my head and in place of a hat is already drenched in sweat. We all need to make sure we don't get head heat stroke. <laughs> head stroke. Oh. It said that you must take on fluids at regular intervals. On a day as hot as today, it's best to drink something before you start to feel thirsty. It's not good. Can I make a quick trip to the convenience store? Ah, pathetic. Are you a man or not? I'm just a gangly kid who has a part-time job abandoned and is crazy in love. I hate this guy so, so much. <laughs> Katori, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My butt is getting really sweaty, though. Jeez, you really talk about a butt a lot, don't you? Doesn't she? <sighs> we thought that it might be possible for Katori, who was even in a, who is in a wheelchair, to do the weeding, but even so, she wanted to do it. Impossible, sorry. I was, wor I was worried that she, without thinking of the conditions, would get carried away and collapse. Here, have some of the sports drink. Thanks! Eek! What is that, Taru? A, a bug! A grasshopper came, jumped, came jumping out of the grass that she was about to cut. What? It's just a grasshopper. Oh! Ataru is hiding behind me, scared. I caught the grasshopper and put it down in an area that we had finished cutting. Don't get caught by hat, he'll eat you. Ducks love eating grasshoppers. Thanks, Oi! Kaneko, using a lawnmower that Ajia had borrowed from a local farm, was cutting down the long weeds along one side. As long as they aren't long enough to get entangled around the wheels, it's no problem, so there's no need to pull them out of from the root. Also, isn't wearing a dress while using a lawnmower a bit dangerous? Hi, Hat, you're in the way! You'll make mincemeat- um, this'll make mincemeat out of you! Wah. Thinking that the lawnmower is a living thing, Hat sometimes tries to mess around with it. Hi, Oli, could you take him away- could you take him away somewhere? Yeah, okay, no problem. Wah. Hat doesn't- Hat, who doesn't want me to pick him up, starts going crazy as I take him away. Alright, he should be okay. Hello, Hat. Wah. Amane, could you take care of him? Yeah, okay. Amane, who usually just stays in the garage, is really throwing herself in herself enthusiastically into cutting the grass today. That reminds me, that time when you did the test flight before. Oh, whoops, wrong voice. That time when you did that 
Yeah, that reminds me of that time when you did the test flight before. It took off from here, didn't it? Yes. How was the grass at that time? I and Mr. Yamanobe, the advisor, did it. Just the parts that needed doing. Huh, the advisor? Yes, the advisor. I guess that club's usually... I guess that club's usually have one of those. But I haven't seen them even once. Hey, Ajia. What's up? Do you know Mr. Yamanobe? Yeah, that young male teacher. He's kind of lanky and unreliable. Jeez. He seems like he's our advisor. Yeah, I know. She knew about that? As I should have expected. Why doesn't he come to see our club activities? The previous advisor retired. Mr. Yamanobe was the replacement. He's an amateur when it comes to gliders. It seems like he's not really interested. He doesn't want to rock the boat. He won't speak out against Mr. Toby Yoka the Hitter. So she's got that teacher to help out. Then did the test flight? Nah. Yeah, Mr. Yamanobe only helps out when an extra pair of hands is needed. In order to fly a glider, one person is not enough. I don't know what kind of person this Mr. Yabanobe uh, is, but he might be in a difficult position. And it definitely looks like there would be no end to his worries. She probably didn't want to burden him with anything. As I thought about that, I worked hard at building the wrong way. I realized that everyone was covered in dirt. And it seemed that today's bath would feel especially good. In that manner, the preparations for the test flight gradually proceeded. We were doing everything for the first time, and when we took, when we took to even the tedious jobs with a feeling of freshness. Ugh. Then one day in August, at long last, we did it! The main moves were finally completed, as they were unattached to the thing. <laughs> Everyone looked at the giant, white painted wings with a feeling that is indescri indescribable. The wings that we can't actually see. <laughs> so many things ha happened for us to get this far. I wish I could see the fruit of our labors. Hmm. Wait, did I, Katari? Yeah. Katari looks tearful due to all the emotion. What are you get? What are you getting all tearful for? I just worked so hard, and now it looks like the real thing. I've never done anything like this before. <clears throat> I don't know how she feels. However, it's still too early, right? That's right. I saw that after it's taken flight. <laughs> You're right. Katori wipes her eyes on her arm and renews her motivation. There are no distortions, and the surface is as smooth as can be. Money looks uncharacteristically seri serious here. And she checks over the two completed main wings. Distortions inhibit the normal flow of air, reducing lift. Also unevenness and scratches on the surface, even though so fine that they, they cannot be seen by the naked eye, cause friction and create drag. These are good wings. Uh... With the money seal of approval, Ajia and Katori high five each other and punch the air. I guess I'm not getting any whatever. I'm just I'm just standing over here all by myself. At some point, these two had formed a great partnership. This can really this can really fly, can't it? Yeah, it can fly. Finally, we can do the test flight tomorrow. Charlie. Oh my god, this music. Come on. Okay, okay, and stop. Keep going, keep going. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> oh my god, this music is so cheesy. Oh wait, what did that say? Early morning. It's only time for the test flight. In order to do that, we have to take the glider to the runway. We'll put the glider on a special trailer, and it will be towed by a truck. Of course. So it's finished at long last. 
Anchen, who had brought the small truck inside the school from the factory, spoke quietly to himself when he saw the wings that had been loaded onto the trailer. By the way, we received permission from Anchen to bring his truck into the school grounds. That was the first time I had seen the advisor, Mr. Yabanobe. As I imagined, he was an honest and good person, but seemed a little timid. Okay, done, Anchen! But she lifted her head to let us know that the trailer had been connected to her truck. Make sure that the aircraft doesn't rub up a rub against the inside of the trailer. The glider had been separated into several parts and loaded into the trailer. If they aren't firmly secure or if there is any friction during transportation, it is possible that they may be damaged. This part is a little loose, isn't it? Ajay, could you grab a towel? I put the towel into the gap to act as cushioning. That should do it. Okay then, shall we get going? Katori is in the passenger seat, and the rest of you can get on the cargo bed. Hey, you guys, give me a hand, will ya? Ajia and I lifted, lift up Katori and put her down on the passenger seat. I, I could have gone in the back too, though. Katori grumbles a little. Uh, I can't say I don't know how she, I don't know how she feels. Ajia and I take her wheelchair and get into the cargo bed of the truck. Is everything ready? Okay! Alright, here we go! We start the engine and the truck tows the trailer along. Oh, look, a full body shot of her. That's weird. She's like doing the Assassin's Creed thing. <laughs> hey, everyone! As we arrived at the runway, Amane, who had gotten here first, waved her hand to greet us. Bloody hell, we did good! Anchan parked the truck next to the runway and we jumped out of the cargo bed. Ah, oh, that was fun! Always wanted to ride in the cargo bed of a truck. You two look like you were enjoying yourselves. Aww. We have Katori who seemed quite dejected out of the passenger seat into the wheelchair. While we do that, Anchan disconnects the trail from the truck. Hi, Tatsuya! Hey there, Amano. Sorry to have to ask you to help out like this. What a toad to mention it. I'd do anything for these guys. Yeah. Also, it's not like I have nothing to do with it. I'm a previous member of the club, after all. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at him. To tell the truth, I really want to see this thing fly. Aunt Shan, are you leaving? I was listening from a little further away, but I couldn't help but butting in. I've got work to I've got work to do. What? We wanted to you to see it too, Anjan. It's a it's okay. If you fly from here, I can see it from the factory. Make sure you watch out for it. Sure. So you'd better do it properly. Anjan gives a great big smile and then goes to leave in the truck. As soon as Anjan left, we immediately began the assembly. The aircraft to sell pieces on the trailer. First we put the fuselage on the ground and then we take out the two main wings. Katori, keep an eye out and make sure it doesn't hit anything. Okay! Ajia, Amane and I lifted up, uh, lift up one of the main wings and attach it to the fuselage. Be careful with the wind. Even with this amount of wind, lift might be generated. If a strong wind were to blow straight into this, the lift generated would send the wing and us with it flying. After attaching the main wing, next is the horizontal tailplane. Slowly, slowly. Keep going, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> we carefully assemble it, making sure not to bump it in pump it. Yeah. Making sure not to bump it anything and scratch it. <laughs> wow! Beautiful. I call it the Blackhawk 649 Ada. I don't know. Standing in front of the completed glider, we are, are fooled. If, if we are all fooled, <laughs> we are all filled with deep emotion. So this is what it looks like. It's huge. It is, but it's beautiful. Until now, we didn't really know what it, it would be like to see the full view of our very own aircraft. Compared to the regular planes that we are all familiar with. It's kind of hard. In particular, the unusually long wings 
that we had completed the day before looked really unbalanced compared to the slightly stubby looking fuselage. But I wonder, looking at each part and knowing that in order to fly, there is a reason for all of it. It feels like something incredibly beautiful. Let's begin the checks. Amane, holding the printed out checklist in one hand, gives out the instructions to everyone. Do we have all the tools? Everything's here! Before we fly, we have to make sure that we have all the tools used in assembly. In assembly. If there's anything missing, it's possible that it's still attached to the aircraft. In such an event, it would cause a huge accident. Air and tires? Uh, there's enough in them. Are there any blockages in the pi pitot? Piot? Po? I don't know. Tubes? They're okay! In that case... There's a wide range of different things to check. We check for wear and tear on the aircraft, and even check to see if any bugs have made nests anywhere. At a glance, some of it might seem silly, but when we consider that we'll be flying through the air in this thing, we can't really say that. For example, if a bug jams one of the instruments, it could probably have a negative effect on the pilot, and may cause an accident. That's why we must check these things before the flight. By assembling the glider and doing all the checks ourselves, we are able to gain a deeper understanding of the glider. Mani said that she had some revisions to to a checklist made by one of the older members. Okay, next is the positive control check. Ugh, here we go. I guess this is, you know... If this turns into a flight simulator, I will be so happy. As she says that, Amani gets into the cockpit. Right, alien rear. The rest of us standing outside go to the part that... She calls out, in this case, the right air and hold on to it, making it hard to move. Amano moves the yoke to operate the air uh, This time, if the yoke can be moved with no resistance whatsoever, it's possible that the couplings between the yoke and the airline have been cut. If this were a car, it would be like moving the steering wheel and the wheels not turning. That is to say, that would be extremely dangerous. These checks are also carried out on the rudder and elevator. Everything, everything's okay. Okay, Ali, can you check into the? Can you get into the back seat? Oh shit! Money gets out, and I sit in the back seat. Then we repeat the same checks. Uh, flaps and die brakes are fine. Now that the assembly checks have been completed, I get out of the cockpit. Everyone lines up for the briefing. Um, uh, the wind is calm today, and it's a perfect day for a test flight. A man who would normally be explaining the precautions at this point speaks with a gloomy look on her face that contradicts that the things she is saying. That's why there's nothing to worry about. It will definitely, definitely go well. She strapped the bomb to it. You're the one who's worried, Amane. Oh. Katori speaks quite tactlessly, and Amane freezes up. Then, shake, shake, shake. She starts trembling. Uh, if there's no wind, the glider can't fly. That being the, the case, today is not a good day to fly. Hey, what are you talking about? Hey, Kathori, what did you say? What did you say that for? Well, I didn't... I didn't mean anything by it. Okay, let's cancel for today. We've practiced assembling it, so that's enough for now. Hey, what are you, what's this all about? After doing all this, we're going to fly it, right? Are we? Well, you guys are just beginners, so you don't really know, but when flying a glider, whatever that means, usually more windy conditions are. Amani, you're just scared, aren't you? Uh, but at times like this, you just have to write a Chinese character on the palm of your hand over and over to swallow it. No way! I don't believe in superstitions like that. She suddenly sounded like a kid when she said that. It'll be fine. The wind is blowing calmly, so we should be able to fly stably. I think so too. Uh, no way! I'm scared. Oh, she said she's scared. Then we are. Then we have no choice. A cheer, oi! What? At Katori's signal, Ajia and I hold a family from each side. 
What? What? What are you doing? Sorry, Amani. It's for your own good. Stop. Let me go. While we hold on to Amani as she struggles against us, Katori writes a Chinese character for person on the palm of her hand and a hand a ridiculous number of times. Person, 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 person. Running it that many times should be enough. Then Katori takes a run up. Katori takes a run up. Hey, there's no need to take a run up. And now we stop. Yeah. What the hell? Smack. <laughs> Rather than making her eat the person characters, Katori slaps her right in the face. <laughs> This was just, like, the kind of thing that happens in pro wrestling. Where three bad guys team up to hurt one of the good guys. Hmm, how about that? You're not so scared now, are you? Oh, my nose. Having had some fighting spirit slapped into her, Amane holds her nose. Looks like it worked a little too well. Oh, that worked well too Why did you slap her in the face like that? If Amane's no strength because of that, you have a ruined her good looks. This is totally crazy. Amane, are you alright? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks everyone, I feel a little braver now. Giving a little smile, Amane walks towards the winch. Alright, I worked! Ouch! What do you mean? Hi! Amane is my idol! Oh, 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 what are you two, what are you two doing? Katori chased after us as we went off ahead. Alright, I uh, think we karate chopped there. On one side of the runway is a huge thing that looks like a household generator. This is the winch. A glider, which has no thrust of its own, cannot fly into the air by itself. There are a few different ways for it to take off. A method using a towing plane is often used where a regular plane is used to tow the glider into the air, where it is then released. This can be done if you get into a certain altitude to begin with. Uh, if you don't have an airplane, which are expensive, you have to use another method. That is where the winch comes in. Ex to explain it simply, it's a machine which reels in a rope using a giant motor. The glider is connected to the end of the rope, which is then lifted to a great height to make it take off. Just like the kites that are flown on New Year's. This is concerning. The difference is that the glider is, a hu is huge and quite heavy. Naturally, the winch has to be huge too. At first, we use full power. Once the aircraft reaches an angle of about 30 degrees, we gradually de gradually decrease the power. Okay, okay! My name is Katori had to use the winch. She already explained this a few days ago, and we tried operating it before, so now it's just a recap. Our roles for today are that Amane and I are the pilots, Katori operates the winch, and Ajia helps with the takeoff and landing, as well as ground control. By the way, the winch isn't as expensive as a plane, but it appears to be quite pricey. It was used by previous members of the Soaring Club, and being maintained, and now will actually be put into use. So it's been in service for many years. To be honest, the equipment here goes way beyond the scope of high school club activities. Okay, I've got it! Well then, let's get ready for takeoff. Alright. We walk back to the we walk back from the winch towards the aircraft. It's about a kilometer away, so it takes a while. Money gets into the front seat full and following her, I get into the back seat. Fasten your seatbelt! As the GA tells me to do this, I check the seatbelt several times. Can your feet reach the pedals? Are there any parts that are hard to move? It's okay. Oh god. The canopy, the transparent lid that covers the cockpit, is closed. Check the canopy. Check that the canopy is locked. Okay. I check the lock. It's not probably locked. It may open during flight, which is really dangerous. Oh god. Amane performs a final check of the flight controls. Oh god, that's really creepy. <laughs> Outside the canopy, Ajia checks the rope extending from the winch and connected to the glider. Amane, please do a release check! Amane operates the release lever and immediately the hook on holding the rope is released. 
If this isn't released, it is possible that a big accident could occur, so it must be checked before landing. Okay! A Jay gives us in from outside and connects to tow rope once again. We suddenly feel a lot more nervous. Now the aircraft will throw through the air. Still doesn't feel real. For a start, could an aircraft that we made ourselves really fly? There's no engine and it could even flap its wings like a bird. So will it really be alright? It can't even flap, sorry. I've had the theory explained to me many times, but you don't get a feeling for what it's like from theory alone. If you want that, the only way is to fly. Finally, we can fly. Finally. Hmm. Amani? Ah, uh, I'm okay, I'm not scared. I'm, uh, I'm not scared. These wings that everyone made together are much better than the ones I made. So a little bit okay. Yes. Katori got rid of all my fears just now, too. But when it comes down to it, it's up to you, Oi. Leave it to me. This is why I trained on the simulator until I got sick of it. In my head, I go over the steps for takeoff. The most dangerous part of the flight is the landing. However, the takeoff is also dangerous, and accidents can easily occur. This time, I can rely on Amane. But I need to learn a lot to understand, even a little bit, how it's done. Gia taps on the canopy from outside. Are you ready? Mane and I replied, ready, and Gia walked around to the side of the aircraft and lifted up the left wing that was in contact with the ground, and the aircraft became level. The wings of a glider are really long, and it can't stand on its wheels like a normal plane, so it is placed with one of the other wings touching the ground. That's why, when launching it, Someone has to run along holding the wing up until it gains lift. Ajia, who is lowering up the wing, gives the signal that the launch preparations are complete to Katori, who is waiting far away. Oh god, this is it! Here we go, Oi! As Amani speaks quietly to me. Whoosh! The aircraft suddenly lifted up! Oh god, this is really trippy. If you're, like, uh, prone to seizures, you better not watch the shit. Put up by the witch to glide and quickly, quickly accelerates. The wheels bounce along the unpaved runway. Ajia ran a, a long while holding up the left wing. I looked at her from the side and their eyes meet. See you when you get back! Whoosh! A few seconds later, after the aircraft started moving along the runway, it felt like it was floating upwards. That was after only, only moving along a few meters. After I had started to float lightly while accelerating. It's rising! Morty pulled back the yoke. Uh, the aircraft pointed upwards. I don't know what the angle was, but it felt like it was really a really steep angle. Up, up, and away! Whoa, animation! Yes, yeah, son. Dreams really do come true, you bitches. My whole body was shaking. Wait. There is singing in the background, alright. My whole body was shaking from the G-force. I felt like that floating sensation was equal to the feeling of being pulled by the winch. I looked down through the canopy. Oh, at this angle, the main wings blocked my field of vision, and I could hardly see the ground at all. How high are we now? Being unsure of the situation sowed the seeds of fear in my mind. Releasing the tow rope. Oh god! The feeling of being pulled suddenly disappears, and the aircraft floating gently like it has been set free. That's because it has been released from the winch. We're flying! From that moment, the glider was no longer borrowing power from something else. It was flying all by itself. I've never experienced this before. The strange feeling of floating. The sound of the wind is extremely loud. Oh, please check the tow rope! I, sitting in the back seat, turned around to see the tow rope that had been safely released. The rope with a small parachute attached full slowly to the ground. Release confirmed! Alright, launch successful! The glider was able to fly into the sky without any problems. Ah, it's flying! It's really flying! Hey, Katori! Hey, Katori! Hey, look! Look, it's flying! 
Hey, what's up, guys? It's Joey, and at this point in the recording, this and this um episode went slightly longer than most. I usually do 20, uh, 20 minute episodes. This one is thirty five minutes because at the end of the recording, um, sometime during the recording, it sort of just stopped. It didn't record the video or my audio, but it recorded the game audio. Which was really weird, so I lost a bunch of footage. But, um, honestly, it wasn't that much in comparison to the three hours that I recorded for. I got about three quarters of them, even more than three quarters, if that's possible math- math- mathematically. But, um, yeah. It's gonna take a little bit to get all the pieces together. I need to re record that stuff. So, in the next episode, if you feel that it's a bit rehearsed, it's probably because I had already read it. But by the time this episode comes out, it would have been like a month before I did it, or I would have fixed it pretty quickly. Actually, no, I would have fixed it pretty quickly. So, it may sound a bit rehearsed. I'm just letting you know because I am very open to everyone. But yeah, the recording broke, and I don't know how. But we will fix it and everything will carry on as normal. So thank you. And if you are a YouTuber, don't record for more than three hours. If you're using Camtasia, because apparently it just conks out at some point. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed uh, this video. It will keep going. No stops. Thank you very much.